hey guys welcome and today it is how to pad your hip pad your butt okay now there are measurements you need apart from your skirts measurement the, the measurements you need for sewing your clothes when it comes to padding of the butt the hip there are measurements you need three basic measurements you need the waist of the person you need the hip line and you need the under butt okay of the person so the first thing wherever the person wears the skirt from if it is high waist you start there wherever it starts from you measure it okay now for example let's say this one this dummy starts wears the skirt from here so the first thing i'll do is get the person the dummy's hip line which is eight okay this is the dummy's hip line now i need the under butts that is the under of the butts which is for this dummy i'm having 12 12 and half for the dummy okay now the under butts is here all right i'm having 12 and half as the under butts now there is equally another measurement so if this is the butt okay if you watch the butt did not just stop all right the butt curved out. It came from here and started sloping in to the laps. All right. So the extension or the increase to be done at the down of the under bus. Just know where it's coming from. All right. Now, after the under bus, you know we have two and five and a half as this dummy under bus. Okay. But in the drafting out of the part from the back or the front we extended it i'm trying to explain how the extension came about you know your butt is not just the butt does not just stop all right now it added into this place it joined into the at uh, this where it stops here here it's not the same with here okay so it slanted into the laps that is where the extension you will see after the underboss in the drafting of the pad, uh, the pad comes from. Okay, so this is the three measurements you need. You need your waist measurement to the hip, from the hip to the underboss measurement when cutting your pad. And please, if you have not so, so for us to draft our hip. Our part, all right. We need to. We need the pattern. Okay. Now this is my back pattern, and this is my front pattern. Let's start with the front pattern first. Okay. This is my waist, hip, or under both and skirt length. These are my allowances added to it. Now, for me, for you. To draft out your hip measurements, just like I said, you need to measure out the bones, all right? So for me, my padding will not start from the waistline. I give it one and a half inches away from the waistline, okay? One and a half inches away from the waistline. Then here, the hip line, I like to go either four and a half or five inches in on the hip line. Now, this is my sewing allowance. You know, before you add your pad, your, you pad your hip, you finish your sewing, your shaping, everything that you now. So that is why I marked out the allowances. All these are sewing allowance, all right? Just know that. I don't need them, so that is why I marked it out because where I need my P my pad is not on the allowance but on the fabric. Okay, so now like I measured my from my waist to my my under butts. This is my under butt, okay? Is 13. From here to here is 13. From my waist to my underbust is 13. This is the line here, underbust hip line waist. Now I've marked from here 
because of the joining and everything i don't want it popping up and you know definitely your hip did not start from the waistline so i came down by one and a half inches here now this is my under bust line all right under bust okay under brutus whichever one this is the measurement now you know this is the bigger part of the hip the brutus the brutus does not just stop it slants a little bit down that is why we are going down below the the under bust like i show you in the measurement so i'm going down by one uh, two and a half inches i went down by two and a half inches away from the under bust this one here i did one and a half one and a half inches and here is five all right have that in mind from here not from my um what is it called my allowances now another hint you should have in mind is you know usually we you know what we call nipple to nipple which we use on skirt for that for this person the person's nipple to nipple is four all right and there's no way your hip will come to the front okay like this is four and a half i can decide to go for four and a half this is the front not the back the buttons is at the back what is at the front is the hip so have that in mind when you're covering your hip. So let's go through what I did. This is my measurement. Here are my allowances. Remember? Okay. My allowances. From here, I went down by half inches. From the hip line here, here, I went in by four and a half, five inches. Then from here, from the waistline to here is my underboss. All right, this is my under bus, and you know the bus just don't stop. You know you have to slant it down a little bit. That is why I went down by two and a half inches. Okay, from the under bus I went down by two and a half inches. All right, now where we did you can just cover it this way. Okay, you give it space. The next thing is for us to get our French curve to do the curving. Now I like to use my French curve because of how this is it. you see that from here one and a half inches from here my waistline from here to here my under boss and by the under boss i went down by half inches so this is my front pattern all right what i'll do is i'll cut now because i don't need this deep allowances all right i'll cut off the this will go off uh, this is what i actually need so my cutting will be here i don't want my hip to be too noticed though please so especially the front if you are not careful with the front hip it will be noticed you padded easily because the front there's nothing on the front it's usually the back that there's something on. so this is my front pattern for the hip now it's time to cut the back all right as usual this is my zip allowance okay for the back you know there will be zip at the back this is my sewing allowance so this is my sewing allowance right i don't need it okay so this is my actual measurement from here to here from here to here 
from here to here you already know this is the hemming allowance or the folding allowance i don't need it equally so at this point too i still need my waist to under bust under butt under butters whichever one under bum bum whatever it is which is 13 you saw how i measured it it's very it's very important okay to have this this is my under butters under butt whichever one okay so next thing is for me to draw it out perfectly well here is my under bum bum whichever one here is my hip my waist as usual now the same thing we did in the the front for little adjustment okay now from here i'll go down by one and a half inches all right now from here i'll go by one inches please because of the zip i don't want my pad going close to the zip okay now the same thing we did here two and half we mark it we went down by under bus two and half now the only difference now is that from here we have to measure five and a half or four or five four and a half or even six okay depending on the person you how big the person's hip is you know the larger it is the more you need to cover but first of course i'm using five and a half for this calculation i'm doing okay so you already know what to do we cut from here all right from here to this place okay, so, yeah then the next thing is for us to cut here connect from here to here now it has to be covered please just have that in mind here too we connect it let me connect this finish then i'll explain something to you right watch how it is now these days i prefer it having this smoothness i prefer covering once i do it this way i'll just place it this way connect it at this point see what i did i like connecting it let it go so i don't want a point where there will be a K effect at the bottom. So there is one, but you can leave it this way or you go this way, whichever one is okay. Let's go through what I did again. From here, I went down by one and a half inches, okay? From here, I went in by one inches, all right? And from here to here is five and a half inches i went in from here down i went two and a half inches in now this land this down i went please be careful all right so the more you go down the more you're giving your down hip when there is no supposed to be too much hip on it so be careful of this down the highest you can go here is three and a half this particular place the highest you can go is three and a half okay and here be careful equally don't go too up you can decide to take one and one inches but for me i always like to be on the safe side whatever i'm doing and then i like to take off this k effect you see this k effect this k effect i like to take it off Bam. that is our front hip so when cutting you know i don't need the allowance like i said in the other one i'll just take it out okay i don't need it this is it now 
how I said you can go this way. You can go in and continue this way. Or you can smoothen it out the same way I did, whichever way. So this is our our please let's mark it. Once you're done, don't forget to please you come, you write it there up down here okay all right um this one here too this is up this is down so for the sewing this is how the sewing will go this way we'll join it together with this and it forms our our feet so next thing is for us to place this on our path and cut okay so this is my pad okay that i'm using to pad you can use any kind of pad some don't even some have hip but they just want to add to it you can use any kind of pad you have those coming parts, the one you use for your breasts, you can use it. Now, there are some people that use this, all right? This foam, they, are, they have the one of half inches and the one of a one inches. Now, I don't like using this, okay? You know why? Because of uh, washing and all the rest of them. If you are to use this, whoever you are sewing it will have to be careful so it does not tear or anything. All right, so I prefer using this pad, okay? But except where the person wants it well padded, you know, very padded, I'll use um, this kind of foam. But this is what I'm using for my pad, all right? You can see I've been using it. This is what I like to use. It makes it easy for me to sew. And durability too. So what I'll do is place this, trace out my my hip trace it i know this this particular hip will be two this particular one will be two and two i need it two and when cutting please keep give it some space because you know um they will be sewing it will be sewn so you need space to sew that So this is it. This is it. So this is it, all right. Well, next thing is to trace the front too, okay. This is my front. Back up.
it is the fat house so to the other one so i'll give it a little space so anyhow. So this is the, what I just need right now is to use this and cut the second one. So guys, this is our heap, okay? This is for the one side and this is for the one side. Alright, this is how it looks. So let's go and sew it. So this is the part we cut, alright? So what I'll do now is sew it up. Remember we marked up down and all the rest of them on the part so it is time to sew it you can see how i placed it this is the front so make sure you sit at the center center to center first then you start sewing you're sewing half half inches okay so let me sew it and show you guys so this is it okay i've sold it i've joined it together see how i joined it and see how it turns up all right this is how it is okay so now this thing here i will not want it to be here so what i'll do is open it up and top stitch you open it up and top stitch so it can relax even if you decide to cut it it will still pop up so i prefer top stitching it so it will relax perfectly and give me a good curve this is how our hip is all right so what i'll just do is smoothing it out and connect this is how it's gonna be this is the toss part and this is the side so let me top stitch it So this is how you open it up to top stitch. See what I'm doing? This is this together. I opened it, it up, okay? So I'll sew on one. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I like opening it up. Don't sew the two of them together when top stitching, okay? So I'll finish top stitching. This is my part. See how I top stitch? I don't know if you can see let me turn it to see what i did i don't want it popping up at the heat you know it's coming inside so it off okay so this is the back and this is the front of the bolters yes this is how it's gonna be so this is our hip okay so the next thing now is to sew it to the inner part of the fabric the lining or the door face whichever one you're using as your inner so i'm using door face okay and because of the thickness that is why i'm using a thick fabric for my inner so let's sew it to the fabric so guys this is my skirts okay I've done the shaping, right? The inner of the skirt, it has been shaped. There is that on it. There is that. The same way. See how it is. So, it's been done. Now, the next thing is for us to put our so the hip to it. Now, you know, when you are cutting, you did up, you did down. So, it's very easy this is our up all right i remember we gave one and a half inches different so i'll come to this line with this joining here you know this is the side i'll do one and a half inches down all right you see it this line here hmm? i'll place it on the side line this is the side this is where the line will go this line here i will sew it the side here okay this side here down to the where it will stop so have that in mind then the same thing i'll do to the back so let me sew it attach it to the 
inner lining you see it so i have sewed the part this is it okay this is one of the sides of the part see the sew this is the other side i saw the this one you can see how it's going to be Okay, it's been sewn. So the next thing is to attach it to the fabric so you see how it looks. You already know whichever way you choose to finish your lining. For this dress I'm making, the finishing, the lining with this will be used to turn the down of the, the fabric. Okay, so it will be a talking finish, right? So this is the fabric for the dress. So what I will do right now is sew the down first. This is the down, okay? This is the down of the skirt. So I'll just sew the down of the lining for the skirt. So it's half half in shape this way. I'll do I'll just go in half an inch down. Yeah, so in half inch then turn it. So let's do that first. So what I did right now, this is the down of my skirt. Okay. I joined it. I just joined the down right now. This is the down. I joined it. Then top stitch it. So what next is to turn it with the lining. This is how I'm doing it. You can see that my lining right now is is shorter than my fabric. You can see. It. So what I'll just do is bring it up and let it be the same with my lining. That is it. Then when I fold it, it gives me this finishing. You see the finishing what I've done. So let's see. So, so it has been sewn. Okay. The next thing is to turn it. Alright. This is um go turn it, sit it down with the skirt. I use lining to turn it. So that is the hemming of the down, okay? So that is it. The next thing is just oh, it's giving heat already, though it's not mine. It's giving heat already, though it's not mine. So, this is um, is the next thing. Let me finish the down. They up, then fix my zip. We are good to go. So I've sewed it and I've seen the finishing I gave the down. Okay, and I've sewed it. So this is the back. All right, and I've joined it. The next thing is to put my zip then iron. Okay, now I want to do. Um, the zip on it will be open zip. The one you'll be seeing the zip, that is what is called open zip. So what I'll just do is just place it this way. All right. So here to this part, very close. Okay. Then sew this one to this part. All right. I have to try to sew it close to the iron, the zip tip, but not too close. Okay. Maybe somewhere here. All right, so that is it. Then the next thing is to finish our waist. Okay, this is the butters. You can see it. It's giving that butters the way butters used to, you know, the way it appears. And there's the front. That's not been ironed. There's the front. So let's throw the zip first. 